Hello everybody, the nameless narcissist here once again, a simple man diagnosed with MPD, giving the facts about narcissistic personality disorder and things that go on in my head. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, but keep in mind, I am no clinician. I can only speak to my own experiences and the research that I read. So anyways, the question I get all the time. It's so like, how did you react to being a narcissist? Did you deny it? Did you, did you like say that, I don't know, therapist was manipulating you or something? Did you have a hard time accepting it? Um, and so in this, I, so as some of you may know, I'm also very active on some forums about people who are recovering from NPD. And I have some friends who also have uh, narcissistic uh, personality disorder. So I'm also going to speak to their experiences as well. I'll clarify if I'm talking about myself or them. Um, so first of all, I see one of the more common things that I see happen. I'm not sure if this is the most common. Like, it seems like there's like three groups. There's like the people who are in denial, people who fall into shame spirals, and the people who are like, ooh, I am special. <laughs> Take a guess on which one I was. <laughs> um, but basically, so this first group I'm gonna be talking about are people who they find out they're a narcissist and immediately just spiral. Because here's the thing, you are basically, so a lot of people and even people who are eventually diagnosed with MPD don't have a very good idea of what the disorder is actually like. I mean, how could you? Um, I mean, like most people probably wouldn't be thinking about narcissism 99% of the time unless they either were one or had some experience with somebody they suspected to be a narcissist. So it's like, at first, they're probably a little bit confused. I don't really know what it means. And here's when the issue comes in and where the shame spiral starts is that they go and they want to know about why they are the way that they are, or what this means, stuff like that, seek to actually understand it. And then they go on the internet and they Google search narcissist. And let me tell you, people who are diagnosed as a narcissist typically don't like the things that the internet has to say about them, right? Um, and a lot of this stuff, is, and some of it's valid, some of it's not, um, but a lot of it is misinformation or is dehumanizing. A lot of times I would say that some of it is kind of, maybe accurately describes some of the behaviors that we can exhibit, but overwhelmingly gets the motivations wrong and it elicits a lot of like, just like, oh, these are bad, evil people sentiments. And that's all the time. And you can deny that all you want. Um, you'll have to make a damn good argument for it though, because I don't know, even, it, it's interesting when I look at some of these articles because like they will say things like, oh yeah, narcissists can't actually love. And you would think, and my reaction to that is that like nowadays at least, is, well, that's like unfortunate, that's sad. Like, I really wanna be able to connect with people. Like, I that that's terrible. But the way that a lot of these articles and stuff put it is in such malice. It's like, this is a symptom that they're suffering from and they're evil for having that symptom, right? So imagine you know nothing about narcissism and you're just doing some like baseline research once you're diagnosed and all you're seeing is all these articles about how you're an evil, manipulative, abusive monster. They spiral real quick and these are people that are already prone to shame. And like, that's why I tell people who are uh, recently diagnosed not to go watch like a bunch of these uh, channels is because not to say that like not, none of these channels have anything to offer, right? For people, for a lot of people on the other side of it, that can be helpful in certain stages of healing. I'm not going to deny that. I'm not going to say that like these people are worthless, not all of them anyway, but, <laughs> but for somebody who is just recently diagnosed, who has had this just a bomb dropped on them, who's just trying to figure out who they are and why they're doing the things they are, who are already in therapy, obviously trying to work on themselves, this information is not helpful to them. Uh, and it paints them to be a lot worse than they probably actually are. And so you see them like, and then something I've seen a lot is then they'll go into like, so when narcissists have like very intense shame, we self-isolate a lot. Like I, like when I'm in a shame spiral, like the world may not see me for like a week or so. I mean, how like, given my hiatus from my channel, I think you can guess what's been going on there, right? Um, these shame spirals are, like very hard for narcissists and they self-isolate which means they can't get support from the outside because they're too ashamed to show the outside world like when i self-isolate like i literally am thinking like i can't let people see me like this like this that'd be terrible that'd be humiliating my life would be over right i like sometimes i don't even want to go outside i don't want just my neighbors to see me and judge me for being a wreck right even if i'm not showing any outward signs it feels like everyone's when I'm in that shame spiral, it feels like everyone's judging me all the time and there's no way to stop it. Um, so yeah, so then I see, so, and then like these people even go to the point of being like, I shouldn't date anybody ever again. I should isolate myself from the world so I don't hurt anybody, which 
some people may have opinions that are more more positive than mine on that, but this leads to them further spiraling. And in some cases, I've seen some very, very horrific outcomes of people who are diagnosed with NPD um, engaging in behaviors like that, which is a shame because these are the people that are like, you know, working on themselves, who are like trying to be good people. And so I always say like, even narcissists deserve some degree of human interaction as long as they're like, you know, trying to heal. Um, anyways, so that's the first group. Very, very sad group. The second group, um, also the part of the group that I was not part of, was, well, I guess a little bit, not really, because like I, so second group is just there, just complete in denial. They'll probably go through a very brief shame spot. So actually, so I wouldn't be part of this group, but like it would, the idea was proposed when I was very young. And like, it kind of happened, and what happened was, I was told I'd be a narcissist, go, um, and I basically am like, I'm basically like, probably not, I'm too young, like they're like, everyone's like this, like this is stupid. But like in the back of my mind, uh, it was always kind of there of like, that's probably a thing, but I'm not sure. And then my denial was actually um, exasperated by some of the research I did online, because a lot of it, again, I could not identify with. It's like, yeah, I'm manipulative, but then like the reasons that they put behind this manipulation, I can identify with. It's like, I wouldn't just manipulate someone for the sake of like hurting them or for the sake of manipulation. I don't enjoy just hurting people. Um, I don't date people purely for supply or whatever. Um, like I could not relate to it. And so actually this information about, nar information in quotes, about narcissism actually contributed to my own denial. I was able to pull on the, and like I could also use that with people in my life who like, um, I suspected that I was a narcissist. Um, like there was one person I remember very vividly of me kind of being like, yeah, they say I'm a narcissist, but you know, probably not, probably not. And they did their own research and they were like, yeah, I did some research. Don't get me wrong. You have some narcissistic tendencies, but there's no way you're a full blown narcissist because that information online was crazy. Now, don't get me wrong. There's some people in my life who probably would say that I was a full blown narcissist based on that information. But you know, this was a close friend of mine who I'd known for a long, long time. Um, anyways, so, so yeah, like a lot of that, a lot of the stuff on the internet nowadays actually bolstered my, um, denial of my condition. Um, and then there's the final group of people that I generally see and the one that when I was diagnosed again, that I fell into of like, of like, yeah, I'm a narcissist. That makes me cool as fuck. I'm better than people. This is the final step in human evolution is narcissism, um, which was, you know, hilarious. Um, and I do find this to be uh, very common too. Um, I view this as one of the kind of like last steps in like true acceptance of having NPD is where, because ultimately, ultimately this is going to bring shame on you, like no matter what. I feel like anybody with um, any sort of mental condition at some point suffers with sh shame and people with NPD are particularly prone to this. And this is basically the mind's last like last stand against this shame is to like, well, if I'm a bad person, I am the, I'm the worst person. I am, yeah, I'm a monster. That makes you better than you, right? And I read, and then, God, I didn't realize how universally um, the stuff on the internet really uh, makes this terrible. But um, like, it, literally, I remember reading some of that stuff and be like, yeah, I am a master manipulator. Yeah, I can read people like a book. Yeah, I don't care about anybody. All I need is myself. I'm better than everybody. Um, so once again, the, um, <laughs> the public conception about narcissism was enforcing my narcissism and my denial of an actual, cause don't get me wrong, I could acknowledge I had NPD, but like that didn't actually mean anything to me realistically. Like I wasn't actually looking at how this impacted my life, how it impacted, impacted how it affected others. I wasn't allowing myself to see that like I was genuinely miserable. I mean, like I knew I was genuinely miserable. That complicated fucking narcissistic double thing. That should be a video, It'd be a good video. But yeah, like once again, it did um, encourage this, which is why it doesn't really surprise me that like a lot of people who, I get a lot of DMs from people being like, oh, like watch your content and help me accept the, my diagnosis. And I was like, yeah, no shit. It's like, like the only person that's like, show, not the only person, one of the only people showing compassion. Um, so it's like, it, it makes sense to me. But in like, I, I didn't think about this when I started recording this video, but it's just, I didn't realize, cause I've I always amused about it, how the impact of the common conceptions about narcissism and some of the social media stuff out there right now impacts narcissists and their ability to get help and be self-aware. Not to mention that, but also 
therapist's willingness to take on narcissists as clients. Um, but it really goes to show how damaging some of these platforms are uh, for the narcissistic individual and therefore the people that they impact because they are, this is, the, it's, it enforces their narcissism in one way or another. And you could make the argument, perhaps, that, you know, like any information that's out there, it's going to reinforce the narcissism in some way just because of the way that disorder manifests and the way that the defense mechanisms can come up. But I can't see it, I, I can't see it being, um, I can't see it being any worse than it is now, honestly. I feel like it would make a lot of people, I think a lot of people would be more open to treatment if they did have realistic resources and stuff like that, which I hope someday are more readily available. Um, and again, not to say that all these things are like completely worthless. Some people can get help depending on their own situation. They can feel they can feel more heard, or maybe they just need to be in the space where they are angry, right? Where it's like, oh, he is a monster, he is a piece of crap. And some people, like, I think they need to stay in that state if they were in a particularly abusive relationship. But you know, narcissists aren't all these horrible, wretched abusers. I mean, I would say the majority of them hurt people, right? But there isn't malice there, and a lot of them are probably willing to work on themselves from what I uh, witness myself. Um, even there's a lot of narcissists I've seen who. Um, even when they aren't aware, they're trying to work on themselves, but it's just a very hard process when they don't actually know what's wrong with them, right? But yeah, so that was ba that, those are basically the kind of ways that narcissists react uh, to finding out they're narcissists, um, at least that I've observed. I've never, those are like basically the only three reactions I've ever seen. I've never seen, I've never seen somebody like, I will, I'll be honest, I don't think I've ever seen somebody go get diagnosed with MPD and immediately be like, well, no, that's not true. I've seen a few. And, like, this is all anecdotal. I, like, there's no actual research on this. Like, if people are like, oh, narcissists can't be self-aware or they have overwhelming this reaction, there's no actual research on it. That's all clinical experience. So, like, it's very hard to say what the actual kind of rates of these reactions are, how many people who uh, can actually accept their narcissist, how many immediately go into treatment very receptive to it. Um, I've read some case vignettes that they were very receptive to it going in, um, but those are case vignettes, right? It's not empirical. We don't actually know. But we also don't know that, like, this kind of myth that nurses can't be self-aware, that they will never accept the diagnosis. No, no, that's all wrong. It's just, that's just the kind of bull crap that's just kind of spouted on the internet nowadays, is what it is. Either way, hope you all have a good day, and uh, take your fucking meds, please.